Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. And welcome to the Lower Georgia Avenue Main Street designation. My name is Tanae Dolphin. I'm the interim director at the Department of Small and Local Business. And it is great to be back where I started. While I'm not homegrown, I started right down the street at Howard University. So this is, this is awesome to be back. Um, I want to also just right now give a thank you to the bookstore owner, Pablo Sierra, for allowing us to gather here. Thank you, Pablo. And so, Jackie? So, before we begin, I wanted to bring up to the podium the director, uh, Jennifer Cooper, who is the director of the Lower Georgia Avenue. Main Street. Jennifer? Right, Jennifer? Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Hi, my name is Jennifer Kuiper. It's not spelled that way, but that's how um, it's pronounced. Thank you. But thank you for being here. Thank you, Mayor Bowser. Um, really, thank you for this overwhelming support from the community. We are really grateful and we're happy to be here, really, because of everyone that's here in this room. So I just want to take a few minutes to thank those people. Um, and on behalf of District Bridges Executive Director, Brianne Dornbush, the Board of Directors, the staff, the volunteers of District Bridges, we sincerely want to thank you, Mayor Bowser, for giving Lower Georgia Avenue this opportunity. Um, we also want to thank you for your ongoing support for local and small businesses throughout the District of Columbia. Through this des designation, you've offered Georgia Avenue a chance to strengthen what we know to be a vibrant, historic, and caring community. And we look forward to working together with your hardworking team at DSLBD as we move forward together. We also want to thank Council Member Nadeau and Council Member Todd for their support in Wards 1 and Ward 2 and for our ANC 1A, 1B, and 4C, including Commissioner Bass, who's here today, and Commissioner uh, Chair Bass and Commissioner Holmes for their ongoing support in this process. We also think, um, want to appreciate the commitment we've received and the perseverance of many small businesses, developers, property owners, and community groups and residents that have advocated on behalf of Lower Georgia Avenue. Some of these leaders have dedicated decades to ensure that no one is left behind or forgotten as we move ahead together. We would not be here today without Sylvia Robinson's soulful love of neighbor and neighborhood. Howard University has served the community and beyond for 150 years as it touched minds and imaginations of generations. Pleasant Plains Civic Association has been meeting since 1921 and the Laredo Warder since the 70s. And the list goes on to include GABA, the Georgia Avenue Community Development Task Force, Pet Ward 4 Thrive, Petworth um, Alliance, Parkview UNC, local schools, the Bernice Fontenot um, Senior Wellness Center as well. And I want to give a special shout out to the many neighbor volunteers of Georgia Avenue Thrive, who partner with District Bridges in the Main Street application. In closing, District Bridges is honored to continue in partnership with all of you in this tradition of stewardship toward a prosperous, inclusive, and caring community. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, and next up, I want to introduce council member and super mom, Brianne Nudeau. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. I'm Brianne Nadeau, the Ward 1 Council Member, um, and I want to just, I'm so excited to be here. And um, Jennifer did an incredible job recognizing everybody that was here, that is here today from our community. Um, so I won't go through that list again, but I will say, Today is a very exciting day for Georgia Avenue. I want to first thank Mayor Bowser for her support of a mainstream program from Georgia Avenue. I called on her to fund this program, and she responded not only with funding, but with a passion for this part of our city and an interest in seeing it thrive. I want to congratulate our new Main Street team. Um, who worked collaboratively to um, get us in a position to fund a Main Street, to apply for a Main Street, and now I know um, is going to work collaboratively with everybody who applied also in implementing it. And that's a really special thing. 
The Georgia Avenue Main Street program is going to bring together businesses, nonprofits, residents, and other leaders to create positive activities and welcome spaces in the area. I've been fighting for Georgia Avenue for more than a decade now since the time I was on the ANC. And as council member, today I'm continuing to fulfill a promise to the people who live and work in the corridor. First, I established a clean team. Then I closed the gap in the Great Streets program to allow all of our businesses in the corridor to apply for grant funding. And I fought to provide the people of Park Morton with beautiful, safe new homes right here in the neighborhood they already call home. I've worked together with the mayor to secure funding to finish the work at the Bruce Monroe School at Parkview so every child has access to the entire facility. And today, with Mayor Bowser, we begin the work of the Main Street program to support our businesses, to ensure that our longtime businesses can thrive here, even as the corridor changes. That's also why I've introduced legislation to provide rental assistance for longtime businesses so they're not pushed out by momentum of a changing neighborhood. It wasn't an easy road to get here. We had challenges, we had opponents to this work, but in the end, we all came together to push for the program. It's impossible not to feel the absence of Sylvia Robinson today, the founder of the Emergence Community Arts Collective on Euclid Street and a leader of the Georgia Avenue Community Development Task Force. Her determination is a large part of why we are here today, and I wish with all my heart that she could be here to see it. We have a unique set of challenges along the Georgia Avenue corridor. The neighborhood is growing and seeing more and more investment. We have a corridor with unique character and history, and we want to make sure that through the growth, the character isn't lost. I'm proud of the work that we've already seen from the clean team, providing jobs for people who have barriers to employment, such as returning citizens and keeping our area clean, enhancing safety by being present in public space, and diffusing unsafe situations. And today, after this event, we'll go on a walk, and we'll discuss the work we're doing in partnership with MPD in our hotspots, and the resources we've brought to the area, such as mobile addiction services and homeless outreach services. I see our prevention center is here today to walk with us. There's so much positive energy in this community, and I look forward to the Georgia Avenue Main Street becoming a fierce advocate for the local businesses we know and love. And as a new resident of Parkview, I'm here to watch it every day grow and thrive. And uh, this will continue to create an environment for the unique character of our Georgia Avenue corridor. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Happy to introduce you. So every time I'm slated to give remarks, my team chuckles because they know I'm a behind-the-scenes kind of person. But then it dawned on me that this time my charge was to introduce the mayor. So while it's always a privilege to represent DSLBD and this administration, I'm excited to come from behind the scenes and to have this honor. I won't take a lot of time reading her bio because you know our mayor. You know that she's a proud Washingtonian. You know that she served as an ANC, a council member, and chaired the Committee on Economic Development. But what stands out to me is that she's the real deal. She sets the bar high and fights every day for the residents of our great city. She knows that local businesses are the heartbeat of economic development and a pathway to prosperity. And that she is committed to ensuring that all D.C. businesses thrive in all eight wards. On Mayor Bowser's watch, the D.C. Main Streets program has doubled from eight programs to the current 16. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> Her commitment to expanding a program which helps businesses located in neighborhoods ensures that residents get better access to the goods and services they expect in a walkable, livable city. With the addition of a new Main Street program serving Lower Georgia Avenue, Mayor Bowser is continuing to bring the type of inclusive prosperity that raises up both residents and business owners and the many Howard University students who add so much vitality to this corridor. It is my honor to introduce Mayor Muriel Thank Bowser. You today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, greetings, everybody. Uh, I am really happy to be here today. Let's all thank Tanae Dolphin for stepping up to the plate and very ably leading uh, DSLBD. Uh, council member, it's wonderful to be in Ward 1, as always, and it's wonderful to meet our newest little Ward 1-er, Zoe. So let's hear it for little Zoe. 
Um, and I also want to thank and congratulate our new Main Streets team for the Lower Georgia Avenue corridor. Uh, I am not a stranger to Georgia Avenue. I think everybody knows that I had the privilege of representing Ward 4 in the council for almost eight years, uh, where we have been working on Georgia Avenue the entire time. About three and a half miles stretching um, from the lower where Lower Georgia Avenue stops out to the Maryland line. And I have to say in that time, we have have seen many investments, many changes, and much transformation. Uh, and the advocacy of so many people, I am uh, also want to remember the great woman, in the Sylvia Robinson, who held us all accountable, was singularly focused on how Georgia Avenue could reflect the values of the people who surrounded it. And I uh, am in, we should all be challenged by her memory to continue to work uh, for this great Georgia Avenue. What the Main Street's program help us do, uh, and this is what I know for sure, in economic development, when a corridor has a champion, it succeeds. Uh, and Main Street programs function as that, as that champion. Uh, they advocate for businesses, a uh, diversity of businesses, a mix of businesses that serve the neighborhoods. They advocate for uh, signage uh, and marketing that reflect the community. Uh, they advocate for clean and safe streets, uh, making sure that we're handling trash, that the business corridor has all of the uh, different tools that they need to, to manage that, uh, working with our officers to make sure that our businesses are served by our public safety officials. And they also can plan community serving and branding events uh, that make the corridor known for very positive activities. And that's a wonderful thing. Uh, I am pleased that DSLBD can help 16 corridors across the city uh, with that type of effort. I also, the Main Streets, and this is to all the Main Streets, they have another task, raising money for the Main Street. So I always like to remind people, a Main Street is a seed of government funding. Uh, it works best when the Main Street works with all the businesses that surround it, the property owners that are invested here, uh, to make sure that it can leverage public funds for private funds as well. And so I know that you picked the right team uh, to do exactly that. Uh, I, I had a little announcement about Lower Georgia Avenue today that you may have heard. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Lower Georgia Avenue was one of the four proposals that the city is putting forth uh, to Amazon uh, for its second headquarters. And uh, we think that we have a very diverse set of real neighborhoods. So if this company is serious about building in real neighborhoods where its employees can walk uh, to work and dine and shop and enjoy their neighbors, I can't think of a better place. Well, I could think of three, four really fantastic places. But Shaw, uh, Howard University is certainly one of them. So if you haven't had a, a chance to see the proposal, please check it out. So let me now invite um, Jennifer Kuyper and Pablo. Is Pablo? Where's Pablo? Oh, he's in, in, yes, all of the team. Please come up. This is Brianne, okay. And let me present to you, on behalf of all of us, um, the Certificate of Designation for the Lower Georgia Avenue Main Street. As a full member of the D.C. Main Streets program, uh, you will lead a sustainable, community-driven revitalization program that promotes economic development, strengthens the neighborhood, and improves the quality of life for all residents on this day, October 16, 2017. Thank you. You're you. welcome. Very You're much. welcome. Um, Let's step over here and get a picture. Should we get Karen in? Here? Yes, uh, the whole team. Who should be? This is great. So we've got a lot of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have a big camera. Yeah. Where's Colette? Ah, I don't know. Do 
have a camera here? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Congratulations. So please, all who are able, please join us. We're doing our Ward 1 Community Walk.